Davis in West Covina, California. It's the Fillmore Show! Hey, what is up, everybody? I am Joe C. And I'm Jack. And thank you all very much for listening into the Fee Bar Show. Thank you for downloading the pod on most major podcast apps, subscribing, and telling a friend like a champ. You can always reach us at Foo Bar Show. That's F O Bar Show at gmail.com. And F O Bar Show is our handle on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll fill it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, Foo? Me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on tap today, god damn. Was, <laughs> very wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Night, no, I wasn't. I was not. <laughs> on tap today, we have Steph. Hi, Steph. Say hi, Steph. What's up, my dudes? I am only here so I don't get fined. Right. Get, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start fining you for saying that now. <laughs> okay, so you want me to say it or not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <you> go, Steph. <laughs> So, um, what brings you in here uh, today, Steph? Got a little health and such. Some health and such. Well, before you do that, I, w- I wanted to complain about something that oh. you guys have really been riding me on oh, oh. for the last 24 hours. You guys? You guys have been bitching at me for uh, my dislike. Nay! Your disdain my of, disdain your of loathing of. Pineapple on pizza. <gasps> oh. Oh, are yes. you a little third grader with little third grader taste buds? I don't like pineapple. Like, uh, yeah. I don't like pineapple on my it's pizza because I don't have a. Doesn't belong on your pizza. Ooh. Yeah, you're a bunch of fucking children <laughs> who like fruit on your pizza. It's sweet and, and savory. And it's it delicious, doesn't matter. Man. No, it. Does, I mean, you talk to any Italian out there from Italy, and they'll tell you. First of all, that Amer- is bullshit. American pizza is not. You know, real pizza in Italy. Okay. Yeah, man. Come on now. Okay, Come so on. so that gives you license to bastardize it. Have you seen Taco mm-hmm. Bell? What? A, nah. You know what? That is not that Taco is the world Bell. We that, live that is not in. Mexican food. That is not Mexican food. It's Taco Bell. It transcends Mexican food. Oh. Just like the the oh. just like the Twinkie transcends pastries. It's not a pastry. It's a Twinkie. It's a fucking Twinkie. Uh, okay. So what's your argument now, bitch? <laughs> I, it's fucking tasty as fuck. Fuck you. It doesn't belong on a pizza. It's, it's sweet and you're savory. You're a grown fucking man. Why are you putting fruit on a sweet pizza? Sweet and savory. Okay, that's the only argument you have. Yeah, it's nice every once in a while, man. I'm not saying fucking have it all the goddamn time whenever you order pizza or make pizza. I mean, it's just like once in a while or even like on well, a half. Well, today I was attacked from Futopia. Okay, well, Futopia is different, man. They're claim- they're, they're just going to fucking call all out war for anything. So, Well, I got a message from Futopia so. of, uh-huh. of, of uh, some... Uh, I guess they have Hawaii up there, too. Because the, the Fu sent me a picture of him eating a uh, fucking Hawaiian-style pizza. And uh, it was it looked atrocious. It looked, it looked terrible. Uh, pineapple does not... has no business on a pizza. You know what? You know what I think was really more upsetting to you was was that in the background there's just a dude's dong just you know right behind it as he was showing you the pizza. I think that's why you got the distaste for pineapple on a pizza. The backdrop man. of Futopia is not a pleasant backdrop. No, I'll say no, that for sure. No. So I think psychologically you've been scarred to just hate pizza. You know, no, because that, that was this afternoon. Uh-huh. That was this afternoon, and I, I have not. It was. It confused me as a child. It, it's like why? Why is there pineapple on pizza? I'm a listen. I grew up poor. My parents didn't really afford anything, uh, and if they did, they weren't going to buy me shit. And uh, when we went to go get pizza, you got pepperoni, you got cheese, and you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's because pineapple was a luxury back then. Now yeah, it's like man. it's no, commonplace. It's not. Back yeah, then, yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Oh, then why couldn't you afford it? Uh, no, it's not that they couldn't afford it. That was just the byproduct of them just being prudes about everything. Uh, but even then, as a child, shit, I mean, uh, uh, root beer floats were weird to me back then, too. Fuck you. No, I was see, like, why I, are you putting ice cream oh, in root beer? Not American. Now, yeah. now, I've grown to enjoy... Go back to Mexico. On, you know, let me finish. <laughs> <You'd>, <laughs> I've grown to enjoy the shit out of root beer floats because maybe uh, I think I'm actually getting quality ice cream these days. Now uh-huh. that I'm a grown fucking man, I can buy my own ice cream. You don't uh-huh. get the party pail? I don't get the get party the, pail anymore. Oh, come on, man. What about the party there pail? There's nothing get, more gross. Then, Neapolitan and then, float. And then you have to... Some strawberries in it. And then you have to reuse the bucket for like cleaning supplies. Yeah. Oh, oh, my parents used it for beans. 
so that they could oh, refry yeah, it. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> they used those. That uh, the and the country, country crock. The country <laughs> crock, yep, that's for sure. And uh, whenever they would uh, forget to write frijoles on top, <laughs> I would be like, cool, I'm going to use this as butter. And then like a sucker, I'm, a, I'm over here trying to butter my toast. <laughs> There's nothing but some fucking beans in there. <laughs> You're like, all right, well, I've uh, already gone too far now. It looks but going like back some to beans uh, and toast. but going back to the float. There's nothing more gross than having a Neapolitan fucking <laughs> root beer float. We Those call, are some flavors that you just don't want to deal with. We call that a surprise, man. No, that's gross, man. <laughs> um, and, and the chocolate's always the first one to get done. I mean, why do they? Why do they even fucking bother getting the Neapolitan when all I care about is the fucking chocolate part of the whole thing? I like the vanilla. It's shitty chocolate too. Yeah, On top of yeah, chocolate. yeah, but it's all they could buy because because that's that's what kind of parents they fucking were. God damn it! Well, I got the good flavors. I, we still got the party pal at my house, but we got the vanilla with like the the fudge chocolate swirled in. That, oh yeah. yeah, that was good. We used to just get those cups, those ones that came with their own little. Uh, oh wooden yeah, spoon. yeah. We used to get like a big. My mom used to get like buckets of them, and for like at parties and stuff, she would hand them out. Those are fucking mm-hmm. awful. Fuck. The Menendez brothers did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where we're going? <laughs> wow! And this was therapy <laughs> with the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Well, um, nevertheless, Dude, I maintain turn. seriously. I've not grown out of my hate or confusion or just straight up. What the fuckness of pineapple on pizza? I mean, the Canadian bacon, I'll tolerate. It's meat. It belongs on a fucking pizza. Okay. It belongs in a calzone. Okay. Put it in your McMuffin. I don't give a fuck. Just don't put, don't pair it up with the fucking pineapple. It just make doesn't make any sense to me. So then are you okay with a pineapple on a burger? That's fine. Fuck you. It's fine. Wow. Fuck you. It's fine. Fuck it's not you. a pizza. It's Why? fine. No. Because it doesn't have the marinara sauce on it? Yeah, it's got... I mean, it probably... Or maybe because it's not a middle finger to an entire country that brought us Rome, that brought us... Uh, what the fuck what else? else? What I else, man? Was... No, continue. Continue. Who? Mussolini? Who <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I knew it. No. All right. Well, maybe not that part. You know what? I had a slice guys. of pineapple pizza today, and it was delicious. Yeah? Yeah. And I was... Completely satisfied. Especially pineapple and bacon. If you get bacon, pineapple, bacon pizza, that tastes bomb. Mm. All right? Because the bacon and the pineapple complement each other. That's fine with me. But if you're not putting, as long as you're not putting it on fucking like a supreme pizza, like if you're putting it with all no. that other shit, then nah, don't do that. No, okay, no. all right. So that's my argument too, because I'm not a fan of supreme pizza either. No, um, I can give or take it sometimes. Because of the fruit, and, th- and that's what I don't enjoy about like the veggie the veggies on the pizza the the only the only vegetable nay vegetable slash fruit depending on what generation you were born you 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 grew up in uh the tomato what do you consider the tomato to be a fruit or a or a vegetable i always thought it was a vegetable yeah it's a right. fruit it's a fruit it's though. a fruit right it's a fruit because the seeds grow inside yeah of it yeah yeah as a, it's not a root uh but anyway the only thing like that that i would enjoy on a pizza it's the, yeah, it's 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 the tomato. That's the only thing that I would tolerate on a pizza that grows out of the ground. No bell peppers, man. Uh, I mean, I, it's, take it or leave it. Bell um, peppers are fruits. Yeah, but you, the, the reason I have a problem with it, it's because they sweat when they're in the oven, and then you get a pool of. Uh, That's true. Of, you don't uh, know how to make pizza properly, then. I'm not making it, man. It's it's being made at an establishment like uh, like Domino's or or Pizza Hut. Um, that would just cater to any motherfucker, and what, what like they they only do it because the masses will like it. And 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 if and if history has shown us anything, is that the masses are fucking stupid. They elected the the motherfucker in number number forty five right now. They uh they, they got they got a bunch of other stupid shit going. No politics, please. Josie We're talking about pizza. Josie for president here. He's running for president. This no is politics. I'll talk politics on my show all I want. <laughs> God damn it. This is his platform. Fuck pineapple, vote <laughs> Joe C. And fuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be standing right next to you with a sign that says pineapple belongs on pizza. Yeah. Well. How? Whoa. I, uh, where's my prenup? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> she got real. Foot out the door right now. <sighs> anyway. All right. Well, way to take shit out of proportion, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pineapple pizza. Uh, one, one, one other thing that I wanted to bring up that brought a laugh um, 
to my to my day was this article that I saw on IFLS. I fucking love science dot com. It's uh, this woman lost her internship at NASA for the most hilarious reason ever. Have you guys uh, checked out this uh, article? No. It was like all over Facebook earlier this morning, but. Um, uh, this uh, this nice young lady posted, everyone shut the fuck up. I got accepted for a NASA internship. So that she posts that on Twitter. Uh-huh. And um, last week uh, she posted that. Uh, understandably overjoyed. She, uh-huh. took, she took to social media to announce the good news. Um, so uh, s- somebody uh, else replied, uh, language. And uh, she uh, <laughs> she then says... And let me find it right here. Um, she's like, suck my dick and balls. I'm working at NASA. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the person who said language is Homer Hickam. And he's kind of a big oh, deal. Oh, shit. He's a NASA aeronautical engineer of nearly two decades. Yeah. Uh, I know Homer's Homer the guy Hickam. who literally trained astronauts for spacewalks. His resume includes the Hubble Space Telescope Deployment. The joint U.S. Japanese mission. He's what Space that movie Lab uh, October Sky is about. Uh-huh. About him, homie. And a little project you might have heard of called the International Space Station. Yep. <laughs> wow. And uh, after she said, "Suck my dick and balls," I'm working at NASA. He says, "And I am one of the National Space Council." And I, no, he says, "I'm sorry." I and I am on the National Space Council that oversees NASA. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, needless to say, she won't be working at NASA anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> That's how you get fired. And, uh, and Jeez. that brings me to... Don't be a dick. Have you guys ever... Have you guys? Do you guys have any stories of... Um, of any any person ruining their chances because they were, they were being stupid or obnoxious or anything like that? Anything come to mind in your past? Not personally. Mm-hmm. And... I've been excited for something, but I've kept my mouth shut for that specific reason. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to. I, I mean, that's just stupid. That's well, at least dumb. just don't be obnoxious. Yeah, about yeah it. don't be obnoxious about it. I mean, you could be obnoxious around people around you. That's fine, but to mm-hmm. do that on social media right. and then to not even recognize who you're responding to like an idiot. I mean, I'm sure she could have just clicked on his profile real quick and just seen, oh shit, this is Homer Hickam. Oh, all right, let me uh, let me just dial it back a bit, cause right. goddamn. Have you heard of something called a humble brag? It's like, oh, what did you guys do today? She could have phrased it like this: What did you guys do today? I just oh. got accepted into the NASA internship. Booyah. Something like that, and right? You're, and you're done. And yeah, you're done. done. Humble brag. Everybody's that's, that's liking actually the thing. post. Stay humble. Everybody's people. sharing it. Mom and dad are proud. Yep, you did a good job. A guy from NASA isn't exactly commenting on it. Yeah, but uh, I, I thought. I mean, I, I'd go. I, I'd have a beer with uh, with this nice young lady. I mean, she <laughs> seems to have a pretty good sense of humor. Uh, I mean, it just yeah, it caught the just, attention uh, of the wrong people. Her career <laughs> is not over. very self aware. Uh, Everyone, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I just got accepted for a NASA nice. internship. Oh, yeah, how'd that go? <laughs> How was that whole week? Well, you you know what? If it was well. like five years ago, it would have played out very smooth. Nobody would even notice, right? Well, yeah, would have gotten under the radar a little bit. I a think a little bit. It would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was still funny, but just the fact that she got in trouble for it—it's just like ooh. Well, it was funny. Ooh. Like it was mm-hmm. funny before you heard who she responded to. Right. As soon as you heard, it's Homer Hickam, fucking one of the greatest, fucking uh, space. N- and then Space she told engineer. him to go suck her dick and balls. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. Suck my dick and balls. I work at NASA now, bitch. <laughs> now you don't. Uh, now you don't. Nope. De- delete. <laughs> I thought that was fucking hilarious. Oh, I wonder if she man. bought a Tesla before she even started, just to say, I can afford this now. That's like some oh, shit at fucking... It's uh, an internship, though. Do you get paid? Uh, You know what? I'm no, not sure. No, now you do. Now you have to. But not a lot. Uh, oh, that's right. If they know. call it an internship, they have to get paid now. You have to get paid. You have to get paid now, but not a lot. But I like, think like a little bit above minimum. Yeah. Sometimes, maybe yeah. a little more. Uh, but yeah, I mean that just that just wet. that just reminds me of that scene in Seinfeld where um, George gets the job at the bra company, and then he's right waiting in, waiting in front of the elevator, 
to go in and he starts touching that lady's shoulder and he's oh, feeling it better. Yeah. And she's like, what do you think you're doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's our new bra salesman. No, he's not. <laughs> he's like, he, she's all like, either he has a job or you don't. And he's like, sorry, Costanza. <laughs>